Sildenafil and Tadalafil are the active ingredients in Viagra and Cialis. If you're comparing the two, you're likely wondering which one is better. Well, the answer depends on your current situation. Since there are so many factors involved, let's take a look at the key differences. Activation periods. Viagra, also known as the little blue pill, contains the active ingredient sildenafil. Sildenafil takes about 30 minutes to an hour to kick in. In rare cases, it takes a bit longer. Cialis, also known as the weekender pill, contains the active ingredient Tadalafil. Tadalafil takes roughly one to two hours to activate. This might vary based on how full or empty your stomach is. It's recommended that when taking any ED medication that you do so on a fairly empty stomach to speed up the absorption rate. Longevity. When we talk about the longevity of drugs, we're talking about how long they last in the system. When drug companies refer to the plasma half-life of a drug, they're talking about the length of time it takes for the concentration of the drug to be cut in half in the bloodstream. Both sildenafil and tadalafil have very different plasma half-lives. Therefore, they have very different longevities of effect. While sildenafil has a plasma half-life of four hours, Tadalafil's is 17.5 hours. That's also why Cialis is known as the weekender pill since its effects can last throughout an entire weekend, up to 36 hours or so in most cases. Daily usage. For the most part, sildenafil is prescribed for on-demand usage as opposed to daily dosage. That's because you'll tend to get higher dosage amounts of sildenafil. These pills often start at 25 milligrams and range up to 50 milligrams and 100 milligrams but they should not be taken more than once per day and you should never exceed the maximum daily recommendation limit of 100 milligrams of sildenafil. Tadalafil, on the other hand, comes in smaller doses. We're talking more like 2.5 milligrams to 20 milligrams. It's also recommended that tadalafil is taken on a daily basis as opposed to being taken in an on-demand scenario. This provides a more long-term solution to your ED needs and gives you more spontaneity with your partner. Other considerations. There are other considerations when comparing sildenafil and tadalafil. Aside from understanding the activation periods, dosage amounts, longevity, side effects, and so on, there are some other things that you should take into careful consideration. For example, when taking sildenafil, although it's recommended to take on an empty stomach, having a full stomach won't impact the effects of it very much. It will still need to go through the natural absorption processes, but since these are often prescribed in higher dosages, there's not much of an altered effect if you take it on a full stomach. Tadalafil, on the other hand, is drastically impacted by a full or empty stomach. When it comes to Tadalafil, it's recommended that it's taken on an empty stomach, not on a full stomach. Keep in mind that these dosage amounts are drastically smaller. We're talking 2.5 milligrams to 20 milligrams of Tadalafil versus 25 milligrams to 100 milligrams of Sildenafil. Whether you're interested in taking Sildenafil or Tadalafil, come on over and visit our site today. We'll get you all the information you need to make the most informed decision. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.